My name is Mark Cloner, and I'm the Director of uh, Sales and Marketing at Cronus Technology. What I'd like to discuss today is the applications of the Cronus Technology, which Cronus Technology basically is a very highly sophisticated method of moving large quantities of air silently and in a non-turbulent fashion, in contrast to a fan, which is like a kitchen mixer, which keeps stirring up more dust and particulate as it's moving. And also the fan, the turbulent air, is what causes the noise. So the Cronus technology is silent. It uses very low energy because it's not having to make a fan move around. And it causes the non-turbulent laminar flow. Now, Cronus technology was developed by Dr. Igor Kriktofovich, who heads up the Cronus science team. Some of the applications for Cronus technology would be an air purifier, like our prototype here today, or also a space heater, it's totally silent, safe sp a space heater, a humidifier, a range hood, you know, in your kitchen, how that noisy fan, that would all go away, totally silent, fireplaces, and even microchip cooling. And uh, so what we're going to demonstrate is the air purification application. Now in every room, in every indoor space, actually outdoor also, there are particular particles that are floating around. Some are very large, some are very large, like dust particles that you can see. Some are very small, like swine flu or bird flu. They're all particles floating in a room of various sizes all the way up to like maybe five microns, which is uh, a visible dust, all the way down to 0 0.01 microns, which is the size of anthrax, bird flu, viruses, and bacteria. Now this particular machine here is just a testing machine for sampling the air quality. Uh, it, it measures the number of particles per cubic foot, and it has the large particles and the smaller particles. And you multiply by 100, and I think you'll see here, there's 28,500 of the one micron particles per cubic foot. And the larger particles, there's about uh, 5,000 of those particles. Now what we're gonna do is turn on our machine and see how it does. Uh, we've tested it with the absolute best, highest quality air purifier, and it reduces the number of particles by about 75%. Now we'll see how this works right here. So we turn it on and let's see here, you'll see it go down. It's now down to, there's zero of the large particles. There's still five particles of the smaller particles and now they're down to zero. It gets rid of all, 100% of the large and small particles floating in the room, which gets rid of the odors, the allergens, and does so in a silent fashion. Now notice the noise that you're hearing is our testing device. The air purifier is 100% silent. There's absolutely no moving parts. Now how does it work? Well, it works very well. That's my joke for the day. It actually works through an electronic method that has what's called a propelling grid. And there's wires, which I'll show you in a minute, that forces all the particles to move forward because there's a collector ray in front that has a minus charge. And the, collect and the propelling grid, the propelling grid, what it will do, it will cause the particles to be, go towards the minus uh, of the collector grid, collector ray, and everything is moved forward. All the air, all the particles, and in the process, the particles <laughs> get attached to a collector array that when a light goes on, it tells you that you need to drop it in the dishwasher. In addition, this is the propelling grid, very small wires, and it has special patented electronics. There are 17 US patents. There's numerous other pat patent pendings that protect all of the technology. And after about three or four months, you'll need to replace the, this uh, propelling grid, and it costs a fraction of what an air filter will cost, so there's very little consumables. Now, if you were to compare this with a conventional HEPA filter that would cover the same size room, 
it would be twice the physical size, it would be five times the power, it will be many, many times noisier, and would reduce uh, a not anywhere near as many of the larger particles and none of the smaller particles less than three microns. Because a HEPA filter is like a screen door and it has very, very small little holes to go through, but it only will trap 0.3 microns and higher. That's why the swine flu, bird flu, uh, many of those things will go right through the filter. This, because of the, the patented methods, will attract all of the particles onto our collecting array.